today we wanted to talk about one thing in particular that is the uh, BioLite BR30 bulb because of course many people realize that light bulbs are a problem in a sense that many many light bulbs have the wrong type of frequencies of light that they emit there's a large fraction of the blue spectrum that shouldn't be there and makes them very you know, not so bad during the day, but very rapidly as the sun goes down and you still have this type of uh, lighting in your home, you get stimulated and it keeps you, you know, more energized than you should. It suppresses melatonin. So, uh, Brian, let us know about these bulbs. This is not something you personally invented, but that's from uh, a company that you respect and you've decided to also test these bulbs before you stock them with the shielding shop, correct? Yeah. So what what we've kind of discovered is that like manufacturers, you know, sometimes not even at the fault of the the business owner, they just are working with a manufacturer that changes some process, and their products don't test the way they did at the beginning or like two years ago. Or we've had uh, issues with some of the products that we've recommended in our EMF course where. Like we had to stop recommending it. <laughs> yeah. We had to change the PDFs the main... and whatnot over and over yeah. again. Yeah. So that's true. So what we've done is we've, you know, I I worked with the owner of Block Blue Light. It's a company in New Zealand. And I said, like, look, I want this, you know, I I love this bulb that you have, but we need it in a recessed light version because so many of us in America have these recessed lights and we need these BR30 bulbs. And there was nothing on the market that was a good spectrum and flicker free. And, uh, and so like we, you know, I worked with him to actually create that, to market it to the U S market. And we bought the first batch and tested it and it was good. And so we have that first batch and, uh, you know, there's been other batches of some of his other products that unfortunately had some issues with dirty electricity. And so, um, we're, we're, because of that and at no fault to him i think he's fixed the issue now but there's still maybe batches floating around there on amazon and other places that have some dirty electricity issues so um so we've implemented a situation where we're curating products from other companies but we batch test every single uh every single stock of products that we get and we stock in the shielding shop. So we're actually are literally warehousing the products ourselves and shipping them out to people. And, but before we accept the shipment, I have them send like some samples ahead of time so I can test them, batch test them and make sure that they're meeting all of our EMF standards, all of our light standards, flicker standards, everything. And then at that point, it's just, it's just an extra step of quality assurance. So um, these bulbs are all you know, tested, batch tested as being flicker free, free of dirty electricity and a good spectrum. And I have a bulb here that I put in. Can you put me on the full screen? Uh, I think okay. you are. Are you guys seeing uh, Brian on the full screen? Please uh, type in the chat if that's I, I tried to add a pin. I don't know if that's the right option in Zoom. Uh, I think it is. Yeah, let us know if you see, see me. I'm going to get this set up here. Perfect. Yes. People say okay, yes. Great. We're good. All right. So I'm going to move this a little closer and plug it in. So I've got the bulb in this in the Jovial lamp, which is another product that we have on the website. But I took the bulb out. This is the normal bulb that we have, and it's the Goldilocks bulb. And this is a halogen bulb that comes with the lamp. And the lamp normally has this guard on it, so it kind of looks more like this. Can you guys see that? Yes. Okay, good. And, uh, but I've got the, the BR30 bulb in here. This is an LED bulb. Uh, the Jovial, I got a Jovial bulb over here too, shining on us. So like, I just want to show you the difference between like the Jovial spectrum here. So this is the spectrum of light. It's a halogen light. It's got a larger hump in the infrared here, but it's, you know, incandescence more flat, like straight this way. Halogen has more of a, a hump here in the, in the red and infrared. And then you have lots of infrared and very little blue light. Okay. So, you know, 
you, you want a balanced spectrum of blue light and red light. That's what we get from the sun. So with these bulbs, they are low blue light, but it does have a spectrum where uh, there is a, lot, is a significant amount of blue light. And you want that because blue light actually does help you to produce serotonin. And when it gets dark, all of the serotonin stores that are built from the bright blue light that you've been exposed to, whether it's outside or indoors under, under really bright lights that are a good blue spectrum, uh, once it gets dark, all of that serotonin that's been built up turn, converts into melatonin because serotonin is a precursor to melatonin. So with this bulb, what's nice about it is you turn it on and it's a certain spectrum. This is actually the middle spectrum, a warm spectrum. So you don't have any infrared and that's why you also need incandescent halogen with it. So if I kind of point this, so I'm getting both spectrums of light from the jovial lamp over here and the, the lamp here, you can see that I get a spectrum of blue, but I also get a lot of that infrared together with that. So that's more similar to what you would be getting outside when you're in the sunlight. Now, what's cool about these bulbs is that when you switch it off and back on, it changes color. And so now you have like a, a lamp that has zero blue light in it. And that's beneficial because you can switch that to more of like a sunset color at night where you don't want to have any blue light exposure. And then, the next one is the daytime one. So switch it off and back on again. And we have a very bright white light with a lot of blue, but still a good amount of, of, uh, of red to balance out that spectrum. And then if you're using this one with the infrared, you can see you still have a lot of infrared, but you have a lot of blue light that's helping you to produce serotonin. So, so this is more close to a full spectrum lighting when you have the jovial lamp and uh, some healthy LEDs like this that have a good spectrum. And the, uh, that's way closer to full spectrum sunlight than it is to just have, like here's, here's more full spectrum. Actually, I'll, I'll take a video or a reading of outside the window here. The window's blocking a lot of the infrared. The infrared would normally be up like this. Uh, and you can see how much the, the window actually cuts out the infrared because it's energy efficient. But you do have a lot of blue light there. You can see from the natural light. And there still is some infrared getting through, but it would be higher if you were, uh, if I was to open the window and test it directly outside. But it's very similar to what I'm getting here. And that's different than just getting just that spectrum or just this spectrum. That's why a combination of incandescent and halogen and LED lights are really important during the day, but also at night, if you have the need to do like, you know, this would be more of a nighttime bulb. So here we're still getting some blue light, but we're also getting infrared and there's, there's there are almost no blue light. There's the only blue light I'm getting there is from the this other other bulb, but it's just very, very little. So um, that's kind of how this bulb works. And it just, you know, when you have it installed in your house, it's actually you're just switching it at the light switch. And the other thing about this is the, the flicker. So I've got my flicker meter here. get a little bit of flicker from from the jovial lamp because it's running on the 60 hertz AC let me do the show you guys on the screen here and get it so you can see that it, it does flicker a little bit but this is within the range that we want to see so that's very little flicker I think I have a really bad flickering light in the room let me just show you guys that that's that's with that's like a range that you don't want to see sometimes it goes up and down the whole screen when it's a really bad flickering light and you can hear it on on this uh when i have this up there you can hear it above my head 
versus this is like almost nothing. And the, let me do the, a test of the actual LED here. So that's like no flicker on the LED. So incandescents and halogens will flicker a little bit, but the higher wattage they are, the less they flicker because the filament heats up and doesn't cool down as much between the electrical pulses. But there are the, the, these LEDs actually have the ability to be flicker free because they have what's called a constant current driver in them. And so they're actually converting AC to DC within there. And then they also have no dirty electricity, even though they're converting like that. So that's the demo. Um, if anybody has questions, or Nick, if you have questions, you can ask it now. Um, I don't think I have questions. It's just again to to summarize. If you um, if you flip it on and off, it changes mode. Yeah. Um, so that's that's one of the interesting features, I think, because uh, of course we talked about um, the problems with with most dimmer switches before, which is you know an alternative to that where you dim the light in intensity. But a change in color is interesting. I, I think, especially if you have it overhead or in a lamp like this, it's interesting to to have this option, and it's it's easy to switch in between modes. So it's, it's interesting to have kind of a daytime situation more late afternoon and then evening you don't want that blue light you have something that is it's not like completely red light which some people appreciate but some people you know that's the type of bulb i would use in my home rather than completely red because you know i don't know about uh, the uh, <laughs> the completely red situation here i don't think my wife would appreciate it like if we look like vampire vampires here in the ho in the home which is okay with me but you know Hey, this is Nick, the EMF guy, Pino. I am the co-creator of the EMF Circle, along with my colleague, Brian Hoyer from Shielded Healing. What you saw today, this short video, is a preview of the longer interview that we did for our Circle members. Every month, we have a masterclass like one of these or a Q&A session with me and Brian most of the time. So you get personal support and attention on your EMF reduction reduction journey. So if you want to reduce EMF because you are personally sensitive or you're just trying to take precautionary measures to better your health and minimize the risk associated with wireless and other types of EMFs, then the EMF circle is the place to be. We have a ton of archives now. We have several months worth of Q&As that you can listen back to. Everything is pre -record is recorded. You can either join live or just listen to the replay. So we have a cars master class we have a pr free protection master class uh, uh, also that we did and we're going to have several other master classes moving forward so we hope that you join us inside the emf circle just visit emfcircle.com or click the link under the video to join us i hope to see you then